Hello, this is Miss Augustine, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a virtual density lab using a simulator. So I'm going to begin by clicking on the link, and this is the simulator page. And so it's the density lab, and you have to click Launch. And when you get there, I want to show you some things. There's a Turn Fluid into Water button. There's a Randomize button. There's a Reset button. You can play around with this and move the density of your fluid up and down. There's a scale, which in chemistry class we really should call a balance. But for this lab, it's saying scale. Um, and then you can change the mass. You can make it greater or less. And you can change the volume. And that's for this little red weight. And then you can hit the reset button and get back to where you were. And you'll see that down here, there are a variety of different substances, including an unknown, that you can uh, check for mass and volume. So let's begin by turning this fluid into water. And that button brings my density to that of water, which is 1 gram per milliliter. And then I'm going to lift my mass off and set it on the balance and record 2.5 grams then I can notice that the initial volume is 25.5 mils, and you would expect that if I drop my red weight into it, my volume will change, just like when you step into a bathtub. Your volume will change the volume in the tub. So the final volume minus the initial volume will be the volume of, in this case, the red weight. So we're starting at 25.5 mils, and I'm going to drop that in, and it is bouncing around, which means that its, um, its density should be not greater than water. Its density is either around that of water or slightly less than water, since it is not sinking. So it looks like it's going to stabilize at about 28 mils. So now the difference between 28 mils and 25.5 mils is 2.5 mils, so that would be the volume of this particular mass. Now you can change the volume. You can change its mass. I guess it's not going to, well, maybe it will. So here is 7.85, and if I increase its mass, I can get it up to 19.2. I'm going to click the reset button. I'm going to turn my fluid into water again. And now I'm going to take gold and run the same kind of test. So first make sure my fluid density is one gram per mil, which means it's water. And then I'm going to lift out my gold and put it on the balance and see that it's 40.53 grams. And then initial volume is 25.5 mils. And if I drop this in, my final volume is 27.6 mils, so that's roughly 2.1 mil volume. And then I could change it out and make it be iron. And again, I could first uh, make sure that I'm still at the density of water, which is 1. And I have a new mass and then I can drop that into the water and record a new volume. And so you can go through and do that with various things that are here as the lab directs. And then some other things you can do are you can randomize if you wanted to play around with it, and you could record. So first let's turn the fluid into water, and I could record its mass and I could record its volume. I could click Randomize again, and I could record the mass and record the volume again. And then I could also uh, try using, turning the fluid back into water, using the unknown metal. And so again, turn my fluid into water. I have an unknown, and I'm going to determine the mass and then determine the volume and always determine the volume by looking at the initial volume and then the final volume. The initial volume was 25.5, my final volume was 31.2. So that's pretty much how you run this particular um, 
simulator, and I encourage you to play around with changing the fluid density, changing the mass, and changing the volume. So this is Miss Augustine signing off.